Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. So, zombies are doing their thing over there, but they ain't bothering me, so I ain't bothering them. I like to keep going this way, but I'm a little slightly concerned about this group of zombies. We have a frying pan, which is not a great zombie killing weapon. It's got okay knockback, but the damage is very low. I'm worried about it crapping out on us in the middle of a fight. Let's see if I can sneak in here without the zombies noticing me. Two zombies over here. Building seems to be mostly empty, but abandoned warehouse or something. I would like one of you to fall over, please. Oh, there goes our frying pan. Who needs weapons, right? Okay, we're gonna start getting too many in here. Stay down, dude. Alright. Push. Push, push, push. Oh, okay, that was actually like, kind of lucky. Alright, no, no. Now we have to get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. I can't die this soon again. People are going to get bad at me, say I'm not good at the game. I'm gonna die again. <laughs> oh, this is what I get for trying to fight without without weapons. We're dead. We did. Those are actually all just scratches. I mean, we can't get out of here at this point, but. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh, I swear I'm good at this game. My last game lasted for 95 episodes. I swear. I swear. That's dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Alright, I'm gonna set up base through this game again. We're gonna start again. Um, but I'm not gonna make you watch that whole bit, so I will see you in a moment. And we're back. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. I should have disengaged as soon as my, my uh, thing broke. Why can't I close this? Go away. There you go. I know where I am, though, at least. This is the same place we were just a minute ago. So, yeah, so my settings are exactly the same. We're exact same character. Settings for the for the game are the same. Can't believe I died again. So embarrassing. This is like, this is like, uh, Zomboid's just wanting to bring me down a peg. It's, it says, yeah, I know you survived for 95 episodes in your last, last big playthrough. Let's have you die three times in quick succession, see how that goes for you. And I'm like, no, Zomboid, that's not what the people want to see. People want to see me doing well. I have a certain reputation to uphold. And Zomboid's like, yeah, well, we'll see about that, loser. I'm like, don't call me a loser, that's mean. And Zomboid's like, whatever. Because Zomboid in this is a teenager. Alright, Metal Working Magazine. This is a new world also, by the way, in case you didn't couldn't tell from the fact that I'm looting a room, a building that we looted in the last one. Engineering magazine. What was that? Noisemaker. Will I use a bag? Some sort of bag? Tote bag? 
Should be able to dump out a pillowcase. And use the pillowcase as a bag. I missed something here. Oh, is the just the garage that has nothing in it. Okay, now that I'm done being embarrassed with myself, let's buckle down. Nothing in here. This is not the same building. It's the same template for a building, but it is not actually the same building as it turns out. Interesting. Okay. Zombie. I don't see a zombie, but I hear you. This thing looks like it's got porta potties sticking through the ceiling. Oh, here. There you are. Come on. Fall down. I don't want to use my knife if I don't have to. Fall down. Stop being inconsiderate. <laughs> Go. Hey, all you can eat. I don't know, Zomboid. I can eat a lot. Hi, guys. Trying not to use the knife, if it's not obvious, because we have learned that weapons on an ultra rare, ultra rare loot um, game are somewhat precious. So if you can avoid using them, probably should. Nothing there. Kettle and a fork. Bell pepper. Can opener. Nothing. All right. Well, I can eat a hell of a lot more than that, Zomboid. Hey, nice. And no alarm. Excellent. We need to find a bag pretty quickly, though, or else we're going to run out of space real quick. In fact, I'm just gonna eat, I'm gonna eat this entire watermelon. It's <laughs> gonna hit us with a completely stuffed modifier. Full to bursting. Don't see that very often. I'll leave the ketchup behind for now. Without bags, this is like, I want to take this stuff, but I'm also worried about not having the space to carry it. Because we're already at 10 out of 17. And two of that is from our full to bursting modifier here. It will go away shortly. Oh, I hear zombies. Multiples. Cupcake. Pepper can stay. Maybe candy. Is there a back room? There is a back room to this place. Okay, hang on. I thought that was just outside, so I wasn't going to bother with it, but... Actually, is a back room. Sack, which is another thing I wish we could use as a, as a back... Oh, you can! I didn't realize you could do that. I don't think I've ever tried. A weird graphical glitch there. Yeah, it's a strange little graphical thing going on. There we go. Doesn't do a doesn't do a ton of uh, weight reduction, but it's something.
I like that each run kind of has its own uh, own style in terms of what it what you find while you're doing it. Because like this one, we found a ton of food already. Go ahead and eat this. Whereas in the last couple runs, we haven't found any food, but we found only a one knife so far. Alright, I feel like we should head into the neighborhoods. So we're gonna have to find some place where we can sleep. As interesting as the downtown areas are. I'm gonna continue to have that no car problem because there's no car spawns in in uh, set up for New Bedford. And a pistol. Alright, I'm gonna drink one of these orange sodas. So that we can then use it for water. Oh, we're overloaded now. Tempted to just put stuff in the refrigerator here, but not sure if this will be the appropriate place to stay for long term or not. Ooh, dead mouse. I don't have a knife. If I had a kitchen knife, I could cut that thing up. I do not have one. way I think. I know we're a little overloaded. We're not that overloaded. Why are you so slow? It's tires, hammer. Should take the hammer. Small metal sheet. I need a bag, guys. I'd like to request one bag. That in the queue. One bag, please. Electronic scrap. Charcoal jack. Hunter magazine. Simple snare trap. Dump it. Alright, nothing in there. We got what? Oh, hello. Um, that's not great. Another hammer. It's an ex-survivor house that has already come open. So we're gonna do that. Oh, oh, hello. That other zombie just really wanted to be part of the group. Man, you should be happy with your own life. Don't be such a follower. He's like, we're busting down a house, I wanna get out on that. Alright, so nothing here. Alright, so we're not going this way. Let's go to Pizza World! Really right, like the situation we're dealing with right here. It's a coffee shop next door. Are these connected? So not a coffee shop. It's a pub. Electricity for beginners. Strange thing to find in a pub. Like they share a kitchen. Oh, 
mind. They don't share a kitchen. I don't really know where we're gonna go today. I'm a tiny bit worried. Maybe we'll just go back to that house we started in. And it'd be a bear terrible place. It, the, it's not the house I thought it was, which makes it a better house for defense than I had given it credit for before. Because I thought it was the same place we'd looted, which would have been not a very good place for us. Yeah, we're just going to backtrack to that place. Oh. Oh. Hello, zombies. <coughs> they need you to not break knife. That'd be my fondest wish. Do not break. Do not bend. Well, I asked you nicely. I see a zombie. I see two zombies. I see the four, six zombies. What I'm going to do here, real quick, is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to equip it primary, and I'm going to take this sack and drop it on the ground. Please die. A little faster, please. Now we have to secure this place. Apparently we have more of a zombie issue than I thought we did. Fall down, please. Getting blood all over the walls. Look at the mess you're making. Alright, we seem to be okay. There are more zombies down there. This is not a good long-term house, I don't think. It is, however, an acceptable short-term place to store all of our sundry goods. Especially the stuff that needs to be frozen. Alright, we're here. Freezer. Sack anything that is perishable goes in the freezer. So while the freezer would make some of this stuff gross in real life, it does not have that effect in Zomboid. Gonna put the rest of the food in the refrigerator, even though it doesn't need to be refrigerated. Hold on to the rest of this, I guess. All right, let's go kill those f few zombies that are in the neighborhood here. All right, at least four. At least six. <laughs> oh, at least whatever nine. All right, all well, you guys come with me. We're not gonna try and fight everybody. Fool's errand. Trying to fight everybody is a fool's errand this early in the game. 
Instead, we're all gonna go for a little walk. Let's go this way. Come on, everybody. Doesn't this house look nice? Must be a great place to try and eat somebody's brain. Hopefully there's not a horde waiting around the corner here. Yeah, sort of. Alright, we seem to be okay. Ooh. It's a very wooded area we're in right here. Okay. Any stragglers over here that didn't didn't go with the rest of the group? Yeah, there's a couple down there. I think we're okay though. Oh crap. You guys did not listen to me when I tried to take you places here. Think you know best. You think you go, I know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all by myself over here this place. I'm not gonna listen to Archer when he tries to tell me it's a great, great house over here where potential for eating brains. Very wooded. Wow, this is wooded. Okay, I'm gonna make work under the assumption that they went off the direction I want them to because it's very, very thick trees right here. I'm not gonna feel safe sleeping in this house. I mean, we will. Oh, it circled back to the house after that got into the bushes. Yeah, you stay there and bang against the window. I'm happy with that. Or fall on the ground. Hey, how'd you get inside? I didn't let you in there. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Push. There's more of them. All right, well, you know how I said I wouldn't be feel safe sleeping in that house? Well, it looks like we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because with a bunch of broken windows, we're definitely not sleeping in this house. Where we're sleeping, that's a completely different question. <laughs> but I am not prepared to answer it this time. drop anything useful. So there appears to be no. Alright, so the question of where we're sleeping is the one I will deal with next time. See you guys later.